What I love most about eating and the overall dining experience here at the UGA Costa Rica campus is that eating becomes this huge event. Like we will start lining up about 10, 15, even 20 minutes before every meal, even if it's really early in the morning, and we'll start winding down the steps. And you get this like great sense of community within the cafeteria because you not only get to meet people from other UGA programs, but you also get to meet people from different schools like North Carolina and Utah. It's just a great experience. Uh, the difference between the food I eat here and the food I eat at home is probably that I don't eat this many rice and beans. Well, for me, I don't cook a lot and I have to cook for myself. Probably one of the biggest differences is that I don't normally eat three square meals when I'm at home. I don't, I don't have to think about it. They, they prepare everything for you. <laughs> Um, I'd say the main difference between eating here and eating at home is just like when I'm at home I don't have like a full balanced meal. Like I One at home I usually really don't eat breakfast which is terrible but I just don't really have time. I don't hardly ever cook for myself so I don't really get a lot of nutrients and when I'm eating here I feel like I'm eating really healthy. All the like homegrown stuff here you know really makes a difference than like the processed food that we have back in America. You, get, you know that you're getting all the nutrition that you should be getting. I think the main difference between the food I eat here and the food I eat at home is the food that I eat at home is so much more simple because I do a lot of my own cooking. But if I the main difference would have to be the amount of variety. At home there's only a finite number of things that I know how to make for myself so I'm kind of having the same thing every other night and here every meal is something different, something new and something delicious. If I had to describe the food here in one word I would probably say holistic. Satisfying. It's just so good. It's so good. Epic. <laughs> Sustaining. Fresh. That's pretty much all I can think of. It's delicious. Refreshing. The bomb. Energizing. Authentic. Sustainable. Homegrown, maybe? Like our local, fresh. That's not one word. As homegrown. Homegrown. We'll go with that, yeah. It's very fresh. Uh, you really. I guess it's different. It's a lot different. Look how beautiful it looks. Like probably simple. Like it's it's not overly complicated, but it's good. I'd have to say exquisite. For me, different. Just because I do not eat like this, and it's a good different. My few favorite food I've had so far is probably this uh, black bean mush type thing we had on top of our rice the other day. It was amazing. I had several plates. The chicken is pretty incredible and I'm not a huge meat eater but I think the chicken is amazing. The hot chocolate is very good and it comes from cows that we watched get milked and that we milked ourselves so it's cool to see where it comes from and then you get to drink it that very night. So yeah, I love the hot chocolate. You know, I actually like the really flat cheese. I can't remember what that's called, but the pressed cheese. And of course the fruit. Like, I'm a huge fan of fruit, so. What's the favorite thing you've had so far? Oh, salad. Eggs are my all-time favorite. I'm gonna go with the hot chocolate. My favorite food here so far has been the fried quadrados for breakfast. Really good. If coffee was a food, it would be coffee. But my favorite food is probably the pancakes that they make out of cornmeal or whatever with the honey syrup. It's perfect. I don't think I could pick a favorite food. I just like it all. So after we finish eating, we scrape our leftover food into the compost piles. And it's just really neat because this food then goes on to help fertilize other soil, which in effect helps grow more food in the future. 